So one way to use the time selection is to define an area that we want to delete out of the timeline. So let's just go ahead and just randomly pick a section here. And now let's hit the delete key and see what happens. It is now deleted out all the video that lay underneath it. And now instead of deleting out actual video, let me go ahead and undo that. We're going to delete this gap that's between the first and second event. I'm just going to double click there. It automatically creates a time selection. And let's hit delete. And apparently nothing really has happened, though behind the scenes, Vegas knows what's happening. For one thing, this blue arrow here is indicating the length of the movement of the last operation of that involved moving anything or deleting anything. And it is at 21 seconds. And so it knows the last thing that happened involved this section of the timeline. The question is, how are we actually going to close this gap so that the first and second events butt up next to each other? Well, we're going to do a post ripple. We're going to talk a lot more about ripple later. But for now, we're going to hit Control Shift F. And look what's happened. This is post ripple. It's saying, OK, you deleted that space. Now everything after that deleted space has to move down. And not only did the gap close, but everything after this closed. So the relationship between the second and third event is exactly the same as it was before.